So we're continuing the demonstration on designing a 2D water bottle rocket. Of course, this could be used for any kind of a 2D design you want to do. Well, one of the things that we're missing are some labels. We don't have um, the, we haven't labeled this as a rocket. We could give a name for the rocket. Probably want to, this, since this is for, you guys are students in my class that I need to know your name. So it'd be a good idea to put your credit on there and then label things like the rocket, the nose and the fins. So in order to do that, it's, it's pretty simple. You would never guess this. I don't think it took me forever to find it. Under dimension, you have a thing called text block, okay? And as you probably learned by now, anything you can do in Rhino, you could type it as a command. So text, hit enter. Starting point is where do you want to place it? It's going to be the bottom of the text. So if we're going to label this whole rocket, you just click roughly there. Um, choose a font that's going to be readable. Arial black, for example, will be nice and bold. I like the idea of making it italic. Uh, be careful on the height. If your height is one inch tall, then um, just see what happens. We'll put on here water bottle rocket. If I make that height too large, uh, the text is going to extend really far. Notice it's one inch. And in order to make it one inch high, that comes close to filling up the entire width of what we have here. And it's really that simple to add text. So you you click on it again. So you can type out text, hit enter, click where you want it. And then you can give credit. Now for credit, you're probably gonna want to have it smaller. So maybe we try 0.5 inches. And then by and then you put your name there. And click OK. And there you go. And then um, for this, uh, for the assignment students, I'd like you, obviously we can kind of tell what the, 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 the bottle, uh, the bottle rocket is. The design is right there. Um, let's go ahead and label the nose and the fins. And then the last thing I recommend you do is uh, if you're trying to do the design for your rocket, you need to at least indicate how many fins are going to be constructed for this rocket. Now, if you know anything about stability in a rocket, to get stability, we need to have um, the we need to have basically um, a uh, a rocket that is uh, what's the word I'm thinking of symmetrical all the way around. And if we were to just have two fins on a rocket, uh, if the wind were to blow against those two fins, it would be pushing it in the direction of the wind, and we don't want that to happen. But if you put in at least three fins evenly spaced around, it's going to be more stable because uh, it, the, the, the way the, the dynamic lift will act on your rocket, if everything is equal, it will, uh, it will prevent it from you know, the wind taking over on any one particular direction. In fact, most rockets usually have three or four fins. If you want to do more than that, that's up to you. I don't recommend it. So um, go ahead and label it and then put how much you want. And then I'll show you uh, when you're done there, I'll show you what you can do. Um, so put on here the nose, click OK. We're going to go ahead and label the fins. And that's text again. And we click on here. We're going to put the fins. And then we'll put on here, let's say we're going to do four fins, click OK. And the nice thing about four fins is you're going to have a fin here, a fin here, and then you're going to have one right here. And you might want to even go ahead and draw that line in so that we can see what it will look like. If we zoom in, we can see where that fin roughly attaches. It's from about here, and it's going to go down to about there. Hit enter, zoom back out. Now you can see there would be a fin right there. And so everything's labeled. At this point, if you're a student of mine, you got to turn this in. And in order to turn it in, all I want is a picture of this. I don't want necessarily the Rhino file. And so if you just want a picture, you uh, click on the Start button. And you want the Snipping tool. Of course, you can search for it if you don't see it. It's SN. And all you type is SN, you'll see Snipping tool. And you just click it. Everything sort of fades. And when it fades, you can just move this out of the way. Go up, uh, up and to the left, click, drag down like so. That saves it. Now you can click on here to save it. Once you save it, then you can upload it to turn it in. 
And that's basically it. If you followed all these steps, you got everything labeled, you got the size and all of that, you're good to go. And good luck. I hope your rockets fly high.